Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishore Swami and today we would be learning about taking the screenshot. So the screenshot can be taken in a two different way. One is taking the screenshot of an application just to a particular application only and another one is taking the entire uh, or capturing the entire desktop screen. So in this video we would be learning about just uh, taking the screenshot of uh, particular application and in the next video we would be learning about taking the or capturing the entire desktop screen so let's get started uh, get, uh, let's uh, go ahead and just create a new project give a meaningful name so here uh, in this uh, first method wherein we would be capturing only one particular application screenshot we're going to use uh, Paga Robotics default method called get screenshot so let's give a name uh, get screenshot So this method get screenshot will work for both uh, Windows and web application and we'll see how it uh, works for both the both the type of applications. So here we have a new project created. Now go to the solution explorer and add a web adapter. So it's a web app IE now go to the property and add the URL any URL that you would like to add so I'm going to use Google google.com and the next one is uh, again go back to your uh, solution explorer and add the another application which is we are going to add a windows applications and this time we're going to use CRM application so it's windows app CRM. Click OK, go to property and add a start method. Start path. And click your Windows application. Now you can start the interrogation. and create one of the control you can create any of the control just one control is enough to get that uh, get screenshot method so i have created login button control and i'm gonna stop the interrogation similarly now go to the web adapter and start interrogation Just make sure that uh, Zoom is at 100%. And go ahead and create one of the control. Again, any control would work. So I'm going to create for this text box control. And now you can go ahead and just stop the interrogation. That should be enough. Now go to your automation file and 
just we are going to start our automation at, at the project start so you can go to the toolbox and look for all project started event once this is started first we'll take a screenshot of our uh, yeah once this is started so first we'll take a screenshot of our windows application and then subsequently we'll take a screenshot of our web application so go to the object explorer and just select the any of the window that you want to take a screenshot of and then in the method just locate method called screenshot and before that we need to wait for this control so before we take a screenshot we just need to make sure that the that control is uh, generated so we are waiting for this login control to be generated and then locate get screenshot method which is here so just drag and drop and add it once you have this method you need to right click and use extract proxy this proxy should have a method to save this so you can save this image in uh, several different uh, options are there you have different uh, uh, formats so here you can also supply the format so I'm going to use uh, the default one and the default one is PNG and we just need to supply the file path so I'm going to create a folder that would hold these images So it is screenshot and I'll open it. Copy the path. Go back to your project. Supply the file path and you need to add it what file uh, name you want to give it. So since this is for a Windows app screenshot, so I'll just give it win app screen. shot dot png that should be enough so once we are done with uh, taking the screenshot of our windows application will have the similar kind of things uh, or the similar steps will follow for taking the screenshot of our web application so now let's go ahead and add a label A web app screenshot and then we need to wait for the control for which we are going to take the screenshot so just wait for create and then locate the method get screenshot connect it extract the proxy and locate the method save again so same kind of uh, same methods would be available for this one as well so there are various save method you can use this for your requirement so i'll just use the same path same folder with the different file name so i'm going to control v and add a web app screenshot dot png so once we are done with taking the screenshot we'll end the automation so to end it i'll go to the toolbox and locate my terminate runtime drag and drop now you should be good 
with taking both the screenshots it's just that we need to connect once we are done with taking the screenshot of windows app so we'll jump to taking the screenshot of web app so let's go ahead and run it and see how it works so i'm going to start the project it will take a while to build it So here you can see the web app screenshot. Okay, there we go. So if you look at the another one, so that's the Windows app screenshot. So if you notice one thing in both the method, we are taking the screenshot of actual application only. It's not taking the screen or it's not capturing the entire screen of uh, my desktop or laptop. So these method will work only for a particular application. It won't work to capture the entire desktop screen. And this will work even, even if your uh, web or uh, Windows application is not on the top, it will automatically bring it on the top and then take the screenshot. And if you see, it's not capturing anything else. It's just the actual screen. So in the next tutorial, we would be learning about capturing the entire desktop, not the actual application. It will capture whatever the uh, whatever there on the uh, active component on a on a uh, uh, desktop or laptop screen. So thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.